Hi, welcome to Lunology Tarot. I'm Juju, and this is going to be a bonus reading for Leo. You could have Leo in your sun, moon, or rising. Please keep in mind these readings are very general, so take what resonates and leave the rest. The roles can obviously be reversed. Um, also, please keep in mind that everything is subject to free will and the will of the divine. No one is free from the law of cause and effect. If you would like to get a personal reading with me, the information will be in the description box below, along with my TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Okay, and all the information for pricing and reading options is also available. I have updated that and made some options available um, for 20, starting for 2022, so definitely check that out. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. All right, let's go, Leo. Show me Leo, please, January. Show me, okay, they want me to take from the center. Okay, very specific. Hangman. Okay. Hangman position, so you're trying to see something from a different perspective here about a high priestess here or this is you I'm trying to use your seeing something from a different perspective while using your intuition and you're intuitively knowing that someone is trying to manipulate you and play games with you you're starting to see that you intuitively knew, knew this already that's what i'm hearing but you just need confirmation of it so this may be your confirmation let's see why is the hangman here why is the hangman here okay Okay, we got the Nine of Pentacles here. You know that somebody, or you, you see that somebody here wants to be single, or someone here is a pre-empress. This could be you. But it's a burden. Someone feels like this situation or being single is a burden, but you need to see it from a different perspective here. Or somebody acting single is a burden. Show me the High Priestess, please. Ten of Pentacles. Excuse me. You go from the Nine to the Ten. So you're adding an extra burden here financially. Just be careful of people who play games behind your back, okay? Like a chess game. You're coming into money, and you know it, so just be careful of those that you have around you, okay? Yeah, hangman in the reverse now. You're not seeing something financially. This may not be a love reading, but you're you're not seeing something financially coming in, but you intuitively know that it is. Ace of Swords, the truth has been spoken. Just be careful of anyone who would manipulate you for money, okay? Don't let anyone manipulate you for money. What is this Ace of Swords about? Yeah, okay, so it could be about a King of Cups here, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You may be worried that they're manipulating you for money, or this person is your wish fulfillment, but maybe you're manipulating them, or they're manipulating you for some reason. Be careful for be careful of overindulgences. Or you have a, there's a truth about somebody maybe granting a wish for someone. What is, yeah, okay, so we have the Four of Cups. They're not seeing something correctly, or maybe you feel bad about hurting someone's feelings. Maybe a water sign. Yeah, you have hope and faith here that you can heal something with someone or someone has hope and faith that they can heal you. You feel bad about maybe hurting someone's feelings. Okay, two of wands here are in reverse. You're not at a crossroads anymore. You want to heal something with somebody or somebody wants to heal something with you. Queen of Cups in reverse though. You could Someone could be emotionally upset. Someone could be quite angry with you or you're angry with someone. There's regrets here. You don't want someone to yell at you either. There's, you're worried about not moving forward or someone may may not be moving forward with you or with a project because of you. Okay. You're also worried about people manipulating you. This could be a third party, okay? No reconciliation. Or there's gossip or third parties involved that might ruin your... what you got going on. You're worried about that. You're worried if you let go of a third party that they're going to ruin you. Maybe there's threats of that. The world card in reverse. The cycle has not ended with somebody else. A third party. You're, somebody here is being insincere with the empress here. This could be you or this could be somebody else not being sincere. There's manipulation here. Tell me more about the truth. The truth has been spoken, but tell me more about this truth. Tell me more about this truth about manipulation. Could be doing a Gemini, a Virgo. Paid a, someone's manipulating an offer or lied about an offer. Ace of Cups in reverse that they rejected because they're worried about a very painful ending happening or ending something ending very painfully. Yeah, someone's worried about a bad decision that they've made that may cause a very painful ending. Let's see what towers are coming in. What towers are coming in for Leo, possibly? What towers are coming in? You got your card strength in reverse here. Yeah, it's a lesser tower, but it's still a tower. You're not able to hold back anymore the truth. Three of Swords, is the truth is going to be very painful. It's going to shock somebody. You're worried about that. Could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces. Yeah, Magician, Virgo as well. 
Also, Scorpio, you're worried about someone, you're worried about either your manipulation or someone else's manipulation blowing up because you weren't able to hold back and then it causing issues for your home life. I feel like this has been coming out for you before. What else? You're worried about recovery being blown all to bits because somebody manipulated or lied or hurt someone's feelings, broke someone's heart. Ace of Cups, yeah, broke someone's heart. Seven of Cups in reverse. Someone's getting some type of clarity either about you or you're getting clarity about someone else. Scorpio energy. And it's going to blow up a chance of reconciliation. Let's see who you could be dealing with. Who is Leo dealing with? A Cancer. An Aquarius. A Gemini. Sagittarius. Libra, or yourself, sun, moon, rising, let's see, if you're dealing with a cancer, what's their intentions, the sun, they're going to keep things hidden from you, or keep you hidden, if you're dealing with an Aquarius, they want to end things, if you're dealing with a Gemini, this person's going to bring you nothing but chaos, if you're dealing with a Sagittarius, this person's not going to move forward with you, if you're dealing with a Libra, they want to have a new beginning with you. If you're dealing with yourself or another Leo, it's toxic. Either you're being toxic or another Leo is being toxic. Or you're dealing with a Capricorn that's toxic to you. Also, Aries, we got we got Leo here again. We also have the World card and we got Sagittarius. Let's get you some guidance. Now, if this comes out in reverse, I will read it from the book, okay? What guidance do you have for my Leos regarding this reading? came out in reverse grief Let me get the book. number 20 so you might have a choice that you need to make between who you want but there's some form of manipulation here or someone around you has a choice they need to make about you between you and someone else okay grief in reverse grief is a warning in reverse you're about to lose something you love Though you know it has run its course, even if it seems unexpected, things have reached their natural end. And although painful, it's time to let it go. Yeah, you know it's a it's time. It's something's coming to an end. All right, Leo, this is what I have for you. If you want to get a personal reading with me, the information is in the description box below, along with my other social media platforms. Please like this video. Comment if it resonates. Comment if it doesn't. Um, remember, the roles can obviously be reversed, and please subscribe to my channel and hit all notifications. That way you know the next time I upload, and as always, Leo, I love you guys. Take care of yourself. Until next time, bye.